and welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today we are going to do 30 minutes of movement. So 30 minutes of movement is an initiative that the Mental Health Foundation have created for the month of May, the whole month, to encourage everybody to take more movement in their day. And by taking that 30 minutes, it's time that we can look after ourselves and to take a break and to bring our attention uh, to looking after um, ourselves. So it doesn't have to be a five mile run or a long cycle ride. It could be a walking break. You could take 30 minutes to walk out around your local area or into the park, or it could be a movement such as yoga. So that's what I thought I would do today. And we're going to take about 30 minutes. It might be a bit longer. It might be a bit less. I'm not great at timekeeping. And we're going to work through some classical yoga salutations. So we will do three rounds of sun salutation A, two rounds of sun salutation classical, one round of sun salutation B, and then a round of moon salutations as well. And I'm thinking it's going to be about 30 minutes. So you can do these anywhere. You, if you have a yoga mat, roll it out and work on that but if you don't have one you can just do it on your carpet or if you have a hard floor that's also fine but i would just say get yourself a blanket for when we are putting the knees down otherwise knees on hard floors is not the greatest thing so let's get started come to the top of your mat if you have one otherwise find a space where you've got about six foot of space behind you and we'll start in mountain pose. So either have your feet together or hip width apart. I want you to find a position that feels like a solid foundation. And then from wherever you are, spread your toes out as best as you can. And push down under all your toe knuckles. So feel really grounded in your feet. And see if you can connect both sides of your ankles as well. And push down through your feet and send the crown of your head up. Draw your belly in and up. Engage into your thighs and drop your shoulders down. And gently turn out your palms. And this is mountain. Foundational pose for all our standing postures in yoga. Okay, three rounds on salutation air. Inhale, reach up. Bring your palms together and look up. From your hips, fold forward. Inhale, look forward and lengthen your spine. So you can either keep your hands on the floor here or bring your hands to your thighs. Or if you have something nearby to support, you could rest your hands on your support. From here, plank pose. So take a big step back. Bring your shoulders over your wrists and exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide your chest forward to cobra. Curl your toes, downward facing dog. So spread your fingers out wide in downward facing dog. Push the floor away. Grip with your finger pads, Push down through the whole of your hand. Lift your seat bones up high. And draw your belly in. And see if you can draw your chest a bit closer towards your thighs. And don't worry about whether your knees are straight or extended. You can do um, downward facing dog with a good bend in your knees. And actually it feels really helpful in terms of flattening out through the back. Okay, now look forward and walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, come back to half lift and fold, exhale. Inhale to sweep up to extended mountain and exhale back to mountain. And this time we'll move a little faster. Inhale to reach up, exhale to fold forward. Inhale halfway. Exhale, step to plank. 
From plank, knees, chest and chin, lower down. Inhale, slide forward to cobra. And curl your toes, downward facing dog. So five breaths in down dog. Keep the belly drawing in and up. And see if you can tip your hips a bit more forward. And drop your chest. Engage your thighs, draw your thigh bones back. Looking for length in the back of the body. Take your gaze forward, walk, step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale and forward fold, exhale. Inhale to sweep up and this time we'll exhale all the way down. Inhale, halfway, gazing forward, and step back, plank. <clears throat> From plank, knees, chest, and chin, or come with me to Chaturanga Dandasana if you know it. Inhale to upward facing dog, or stay with cobra, down dog. Exhale. Five breaths. Take your gaze forward, walk or jump. Inhale to half lift and exhale to fold. Inhale, sweeping up, and bring your palms together, gaze up and exhale to bring your hands into your heart center. Okay, classical sun salutations, two rounds. And in classical, we add in a low lunge. Okay, so that's where the blanket can be helpful. Mannequin pose to begin. Inhale, and exhale to fold. Half lift, plant your hands and take your right leg back. Drop your knee down and untuck your toes. Inhale, to reach your arms up and gaze forward. So low lunge, Anjani Asana. And gently bring your arm bones down. And look ahead. Might want to take your gaze up and look between your hands and maybe bring your palms together. If you've brought your palms together, take them away, gaze forward. Together let's exhale and bring hands down. Curl your toes at the back and lift your knee and then with control set the left leg to join the right. And from here knees, chest, chin or chaturanga down. Inhale to slide forward into cobra or up dog, keep your elbows in and downward facing dog. It's like a three-legged dog with your right leg, so lift it high, come up onto your left toes, bend your right knee and bring your right foot forward. Land it between your hands and give it a hand if you need to. Left knee down, on top the toes. Reach up. So looking ahead. Finding your balance, steady state. If that feels okay, maybe look up. If that feels okay for your shoulders, maybe bring your palms together. Keep the belly drawing in. If you have closed the palms, separate. Look forward, breathing in. And breathe out to bring your hands down. Curl your toes, lift your knee at the back. Look forward. Left foot joins the right, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Sweep up, inhale, and exhale to round two, folding forward. Inhale halfway, and exhale, right leg back. Drop your knee down, untuck your toes, and up we come. Back to our low lunge. Okay, so we're gonna take five breaths here. You can look up. If you want to, you could curl your toes, squeeze into your back thigh, and lift your back knee. High lunge. Ashta Chandrasana. One more breath in. If you 
you've got your back knee lifted, drop it down. Together we'll frame the left foot and then we're going to step, oop, we're going to lift the back knee again and step to plank. <clears throat> From plank, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog or sit with cobra. Down dog. Right leg into the air, inhale. Come onto your left toes, knee forward, right foot between the hands. Go straight to high lunge if you want to, otherwise drop your back knee and come up. Coming to low lunge first, and of course you could stay here or come into the high lunge, curl the toes, squeeze the back thigh, looking ahead. You might want to look up. One more breath in. Bring your hands down. If your knee is down, we'll get the transition right this time. Lift it up. Look where you're going and then bring your left foot to join the right. Breathe in and breathe out to fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Bring the palms together and exhale. Bring your hands to the heart centre. Okay, two rounds of classical completed. Now we'll... Um, Move on to Sun Salutation B. We add in two more poses. Instead of the lunge, we have Warrior One, and we add in chair at the beginning and the end. In Warrior One, the back foot comes down, and it's at a 45 degree angle. So, but I can get rid of that now. <coughs> so, Warrior One, lunge, knee, back leg straight, and the back foot at about a 45 degree angle. And we're trying to orient the hips forward. Um, but just do the best you can with that. And don't over, over, fall, over fall it. Is that an expression? Possibly. Okay, sun salutation B. So we're at the top of the mat, mountain. Inhale to reach your arms overhead and exhale to bend your knees. Utkatasana chair. A moment to lift up your toes and ground down into your heels and the balls of your feet and then pop your toes back down. Make sure that you're not sticking your bottom out or tucking your tail under and that your tailbone is neutral, the pelvis is neutral. Bend a bit more if you need to. One more breath. Okay, exhale to fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale to plank. Lower down, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing or cobra. Downward facing dog, exhale. Step your right foot forward for warrior one. Help it if you need to. Bring your arms up on an inhalation. So we'll hold warrior one for five breaths. I want you to connect as much in the back foot as the front foot. And use the connection at the back to help you draw your left hip forward. You can look up and bring your palms together. If that feels okay for your balance and your neck. And one more inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Plank pose from here. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. And downward facing dog, exhale. Left foot, warrior one. Five breaths. Remember, it's not all about bringing the weight forward in the front. Both legs are strong and both feet firmly connected. Maybe bring the palms together. Maybe look up. One more. And then exhale. Hands down. Plank. Our last plank. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Upward facing dog or cobra. And downward facing dog. Our last downward facing dog. So enjoy. Five breaths. Did I say that? Five breaths.
look forward, walk or jump, halfway, inhale, forward fold, exhale, return to chair pose, inhale, sit your arms up, and exhale, into mountain, okay, good job, come to the middle of your mat now, <clears throat> and we'll work on our moon salutation, so in the moon salutation, we go all the way through the sequence on one side, and then normally you know, what we would do is we would do it in the same order on the other side. But in a moon salutation, you do it in reverse. <coughs> so that's a challenge for my memory. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it right today. <coughs> okay, so mountain pose, drop your arms down. So we definitely begin and end in mountain. Inhale, keep up. Bring the palms together. And I want you to take right thumb and first finger around left wrist. Inhale. Exhale, hips to the left and reach over to the right. Side bend. Inhale to the centre, change. Other direction. Left thumb, left first finger around right wrist. Inhale. Exhale, side bend, hips to the right, reach to the left. Inhale to the centre. Exhale, step to about three feet, a metre wide. Arms to shoulder height. And then I want you to turn both feet out. I want you to bend at your elbows, so bring a 90 degree bend into the elbows and then bend into the knees. Goddess pose. So take a quick look from side to side and see if there's any adjustments you can make. Maybe lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Sort of bring your elbow joint into a 90 degree angle. Lower a bit deeper. Belly in. Slower than you want to, inhale, straighten your legs and bring your arms to shoulder height with your palms facing forward. And then turn your left foot in and your right foot to 12 o'clock. Keep your legs straight now, so engage into both your thigh muscles and then from your hips reach forward for triangle pose. Reach as far as you can and then take your right arm down and your left arm up. Attaching no importance to how far down you go with your hand. So you could go all the way to your foot, but you could be right up here. So all of these are good variations. If it's available to you, draw your top hip back and turn your left rib cage up. Maybe gaze up as well. Take one more inhalation. And then exhale to bring your hands to frame your right foot. The pyramid pose. So see if there's an adjustment you can make here to bring your left hip a bit forward and your right hip a bit back. If you need to shorten your step, bring your back foot in a little. Maybe gaze forward, inhale. And then as you exhale, perhaps you can bring your nose towards your knee or your gaze towards your toes. Yeah, inhale, release. From here it's a high lunge, so we're gonna spin onto the toes at the back. I need to wriggle a bit further back <coughs> for a high lunge. And then we're gonna find our balance to come up into our high lunge. If the high lunge feels too much, drop the back knee down. Okay. One more inhalation. And exhale to bring your hands down. Bring your right hand inside your left foot and connect the top of your arm and the inside of your knee. And then see if you can find an opening to the side. Reach your left arm high. Again, back knee can come down. One more inhale. Exhale. 
bring your left hand down. From here, <coughs> walk yourself into Skandasana. So, right knee is facing forward, right foot facing forward. Left leg is straight. If you have hyperextending knees, watch it. You could also drop your foot down here. Bring your leg into a rotation, internal rotation. <coughs> so there is also a balance here if you want to look for it. I'm not sure I'm going to do it on camera. But there's a prayer to be found here. next pose is Malasana, garland pose. So I'm going to walk my hands towards the middle of the mat. I'm going to bring my feet a bit closer together. Malasana is basically the yogi squat. So you may not be able to get your feet down. It might be too much of a bend for your knees or your hips. And if so, you can always sit on something. So <clears throat> sitting on a block or sitting on a cushion will be a great variation in Malasana. You might want to bring your hands to a prayer. You might want to use your elbows to draw your knees back. Go gently with that though. Okay, so we've reached the halfway point of our moon salutation. And from here, we're going to do everything we've just done in reverse. Okay. So that means that next up, it's Skandasana. So left knee, bring it forward. Straighten your right leg. And remember, you can either have, so just watch this. If you can push back, see what I can do there. Don't do that. Um, maybe bring your foot to the floor instead and have the leg coming in. Maybe we balance. release. Take a high lunge position towards the top of your mat and bring left hand inside left foot and then maybe reach up. And remember you can do this with your knee up or your knee down. Release. High lunge. Inhale and come up. Arms overhead, squeeze into your back thigh, one more breath in, exhale to bring your hands down, pyramid pose, I'm going to drop the back foot 45 degrees and straighten the front leg, so adjust your hip so that the right hip draws forward and the left hip draws slightly back, inhale to look forward and then maybe deepen the pose, folding over your left leg. Inhale, come up to halfway. Now we need to build a triangle from the ground up. So bring your left hand somewhere along your leg and inhale to come up into your triangle from here. This is a tricky transition, I think. Okay, so straight legs, right hip draws back, right rib cage is open, be looking up or looking down. Inhale, bring yourself up and then bring your feet so that they are Charlie Chaplin, bend at the elbows, bend at the knees, the goddess pose. Draw your elbows back, 90 degree angle. Maybe it's the last one. Maybe we drop down a little more. Deep breath. Slower than we want to. Inhale to straighten and bring your arms to shoulder height. You might want to jump your feet together or walk together. And bring your hands to touch. And then take left on the first finger and reach over <coughs> to your side bend, hips to the right, reach over to the left. Inhale to 
center, change, reach up, and hips to the left, reach to the right. Inhale to reach up, bring your palms together and look up. And exhale, and bring your hands to your heart center. Okay, come down. Let's just take a moment to let our practice settle. So I want you to sit in Baddha Kanasana. So bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees drop down. If this doesn't feel good, you could sit in Sukhasana instead or any other any other seated position. Bring your hands around your toes. And send your chest forward, lengthen, inhale, and exhale, tuck your chin. And then release your hands and bring your knees together and come down onto your back for Shavasana. Our last pose. So Shavasana, classically you'd have your legs straight and your feet wide as the mat. And bring your arms at the side of the body and turn your palms up. Let your shoulders drop down. And take a moment to just check in that you are equal on both sides and that you feel comfortable and able to completely relax. And close your eyes if that feels okay. And you can take as long as you like here. You could stay here for five or even 10 minutes. So feel free to put me on pause. I won't be offended. And when you're ready to start moving again, wriggle your fingers and toes, then your wrists, and maybe your ankles too. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then either rock onto your side and come up that way, or rock along your spine and come back up into a seat. Bring your hands into your heart center in a prayer. And tuck your chin to look down towards your fingertips. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for your energy. Namaste. Namaste.